Welcome back to Axis and Allies, the Anniversary Edition. We are on part one of our six episodes remaining. <laughs> we're into Germany this time. Yes, we're going to end it off once we get the U.S. turn. Uh, that'll be 24 episodes. I think that'll be enough to give you a good idea how this game plays. And currently, it is now Germany's turn. Now, they've got... they're a little bit squeezed in. Italy's doing pretty well, though. The U.K.'s got a ton of stuff they're building up. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. All right, uh, Germany has, I believe, 28 IPCs to spend. So let's figure out what Germany is going to be purchasing or building uh, this time. All right, Germany is going to be building six infantry and two armored divisions. That's what they're going to build with their 28. And yep, up after them will be Russia. Uh, so yeah, that's what they're going to purchase. And now it is time for them to go on the offensive. And let's see what they want to do for that. All right, so it looks like Germany is going to press on to the eastern Poland because there's a couple of UK fighters there that they really want to destroy. So, and there's four uh, Russian infantry. They're going to send in their armored unit, their infantry, their artillery, and they have one, two, one, their two fighters are going to go in here. So those have a range, return range of two. Now let me get the little die here uh, on those ones. And they also have one in France, but I think they're going to just leave that there. They are going to take the bomber in with them too, though. One, two. So it has a return flight of four. And uh, they will take one more infantry from uh, Bulgaria, Romania, and put it in there. Yeah. And that's going to be the extent of their attack. Uh, they don't really have anywhere else they can attack at all. They've been squeezed pretty heavily. Well, let's figure out... Uh, oh, and I should say... The armored unit that's in Poland will hit the Baltic states first and then move into East Poland. So that will give Germany, uh, they will take over the Baltic states. And that's going to be one up right now for, that'll be one up for Germany, 25 to 26, and Russia 29 down to 28. And then we're going to get into this battle. So let me readjust the camera. We're going to get rolling some dice and see what happens. All right, this could get ugly. Uh, in fact, it will get ugly. All right, we have now, can we see that? Uh, maybe I'll move this guy down here. Is that a better view of the dice tower? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so Germany's on the offensive. They have one infantry by itself. So that's gonna need to hit on a one. <laughs> oh boy. All right, they hit on a one. They have an artillery and infantry. Those hit on two. There's another hit, so that's two hits. They have uh, two aircraft and a tank. The armored unit, those hit on threes. Uh, two more hits. Wow, they're up to four hits. They are, I think that's all the hits they need, isn't it? Well, no, because there's two fighters there and they got a bomber coming in hitting on a four. And the bomber also hits. That is a total of five hits. Wow. That was a massive offensive. All right, now it is time for the defense. And the Russians have four infantry. They'll be hitting at twos. And that's one hit for uh, the Russian troops. And the two aircraft that the British have parked there are defending on fours. And that's two more hits, so that's three hits. So bottom line, we have five hits against a Russia Britain and four hits, or sorry, three hits against uh, the Germans. So the five hits while well, they're going to get rid of all of the Russian infantry gets destroyed. And one of the British fighters also going down. Now, that's not good news, but it is what it is now. Germany has to lose three units. They will use lose two infantry and the artillery. That's the end of that. All right, we're on to the next round. Are they going to press the attack? Yeah, they are. They are definitely going to press the attack. So they have a bomber, two fighters, and a armored unit. Panzers. All right, so that's going to be three at three. Uh, and that's the one hit they need to take out the aircraft and the bomber. 
uh, doesn't hit. But they only needed one hit. There's only one uh, British fighter unit left there. They are going to defend at a four. And they do hit. So that's one hit for one hit. So the British fighter unit is destroyed. And Germany will lose. You know what? They're going to lose their armored unit. They're going to lose the armored unit. They wiped out all of the um, Russian and British forces there. But they don't actually claim the territory. But that's they're going to they're going to say okay, that's all right. And now, after that dust up, uh, we are going to do non-combat moves for Germany. Oh wow, writing's on the wall, isn't it? Okay, the bomber will go back to. Uh, actually, before I fly the planes around, let's go ahead and move the units here. We are going to move uh, one, two, oh boy, three, four of the infantry are going to go to Poland. And actually, five into Poland. We're going to move one. Are we going? Yeah, we're going to move one down into France. One into. No, we're going to leave the two there in, in Berlin. Then the bomber will go back to Berlin. And then the two fighters will also go back to Germany to shore up their uh, fighting off any bombing runs the US or Britain is going to try to pull off. And then. Uh, that's it for all of their non-combat moves. And now it is just them placing troops down. So let me get that organized and we'll have a look. All right, so that's how things look after we get all the units placed. So they only have a couple units here in Bulgaria, Romania. Wow, Russia's got a pile of troops on the doorstep. Uh, they've got five infantry and two Italian tanks sitting there. And they've got... Two, four, six, eight infantry, two armored units, two fighters, and a bomber in uh, Germany. They have two infantry, artillery. Yeah, things are things are getting squeezed for Germany, and they're cur but they're currently sitting at uh, 26 IPCs. So they're going to gather their 26 IPCs. We're going to zoom out and wrap up our episode for today. All right, well, that's going to wrap up Germany's final turn of our playthrough here. Uh, up next will be Russia. Like I said, what I'm going to do at the very end, once we get to um, the U.S. turn, which will be the last turn for my playthrough, we're going to look at the IPCs. We're going to look at the whole global situation and kind of see where things would be headed. Uh, and yeah, so there we go. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Axis Analyze, the anniversary edition, which is awesome. I really do like this version. I think it's my favorite. I played the really original original from, I think it was 1984 when it came out. I played the 1942 edition. I've played the D-Day version, the Pacific version. Not the huge Pacific one, the, the other one that came out. Uh, and uh, what else did I play? Anyway, I've played a bunch of these games. I think this one is my favorite for the whole global conflict. I have not played the jumbo one where you put the two together, which might be amazing, but that sounds like an entire weekend thing. <laughs> this is an entire day thing. That one would be an entire weekend. So once again, thanks so much for watching along. I really appreciate it. It really helps with my channel. And we'll hope to see you tomorrow for the continuation. We'll be doing Russia. We'll see what they've got up their sleeve. Uh, yeah, and that'll be uh, it. They have 30, I think they have 31 IPCs uh, to spend, so they're, they're cranking up pretty good. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation.